So let's shift gears. Now I have, in between doing the last video, which was how to do version control for your SSIS packages, I have stripped that whole component out. I've uninstalled uh, SVN. That, that's all gone. As I mentioned at the close of the last video, I, I didn't want anybody coming into this later on to be confused by it. There's a lot more to do with source code control, and maybe at some future date when I have all the time in the world, I'll sit down and do videos uh, just about doing source code control. Uh, for the time being, though, I, I think you've got enough to get the basics. Um, I think there's some really good books on doing source code control that, you know, it's up to you to kind of continue your learning. But you've got a basic idea, I think, and, and that's a good place to start. Let's continue now talking about how SQL Server Integration Services deals with secure information in our SSIS packages. Now let me talk about what I mean. Let me go ahead and open my Visual Studio, crack open that Chapter 3 project, and we've got a bunch of junk in it. I think I created a whole bunch of different packages here. Let's just go ahead and dump those out. Um, we had video two. And so this is what, uh, like I think, number five in this. So let's make video five. So new SSIS package, rename video five. Rename the object. Um, curious. Thankfully, this was on video. Um, you see it says package 1 DTSX here, yet it says video 5 here. Ha uh ha, -huh, okay. I wonder what happens if we close and refresh over here, um, which I actually can't do. I, there's no refresh here. Huh. How weird. So sort them by name? That's see what happens when I open that package one okay rename video five worked yay curious <laughs> sorry for the diversion there uh, wasn't just me though I don't think I believe you saw that happen as well anyhow um, I'm a little bit thrown off by that. Uh, so, what were we even doing? Um, we were going to talk about what sensitive information is. Well, you know, maybe you don't. I don't know if you do. Let me show you. You realize that there are two ways to work with your DTS <laughs> SSIS package. And that's either to view the designer, which is this side over here. That's what this the designer surface is. Or, hey, you know, like I can make an annotation over here that says, hi there, okay? And so that gets saved with the package. Well, what I can also do is I could open the code view of this. And the code view, it's an XML file. And I can actually format this, control K, control D. Um, oh, it's not going to let me do it here. Um, uh, one of the minor differences between using a full-blown Visual Studio XML editor and it knows already that this is a DTSX file. Um, but this is the actual package itself. And so we can actually see the content of the package um, and you can see variable information. We can see connections we can see all kinds of things that is uh, actually stored here in this XML file. So let's, um, let me close out of this side because I don't need to do that. I'm just back over here in the designer. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it. And sensitive information, like I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to add a data flow task. And I'm going to go to my data flow task, and I'm going to add an OLEDB source. And I'm going to create a new connection. And I'm going to create that connection based on my local server. I'm going to use a, a, a 
account. I don't even know if I have that turned on. I'm going to tell it to save the password. And let's see. Yay. We'll use that. Okay. Um, I say okay. Okay. Use uh, whatever table. I don't care. We'll use that one and those columns and, you know, dump it out to a flat file. And, oops, and I'm just junking this up. I'm not really worried about, I'm not ever going to run it. Uh, I just want to get to where I can show you the XML file because I want to show you what actually gets stored and what I mean by sensitive information. So put it um, just here dot text and yes, blah, 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 etc. cetera. Um, fine, do our mappings. Okay, save the file. So that's sensitive information we now have in this package, right? I stored for my connection for AdventureWorks, I stored the SQL Server username, the SQL Server login name, and I stored the password. That is very, very important. So here's the question. Somebody gets a hold of that actual file. So they are able to get to your machine or to the, where they have the packages. They go to the project. They go into that file, Video 2 or video 5, and they open it with a text editor. Instead of opening it with Visual Studio and seeing that designer, what are they going to get? Are they going to see your SA password? Let's take a look. I'm going to change uh, from the program, and I'm just going to open this with Notepad, for example. Um, I think most people will be familiar with that. And take a look at what we can see. Here is the connection. There's the object. Right? DTS password. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. The password is encrypted. Do you see it? Thank you, Mr. DTS slash SSIS. The password is, wait a minute, what is this sensitive one bit? Right? An encrypted equal one. Well, clearly those are bits, meaning true and false, right? Well, here is that password. It's actually a pretty long password. Okay? So now you can see the name, the SA is the name of this, and we can see our connection manager. This is secure information. This is the kind of thing we don't want somebody getting to. Uh, for example, we could do a find, and we could say find SA. There's one. Uh, user ID equals SA. Okay, very bad. Uh, so we don't want that kind of thing. So it has chosen that the password is the sensitive information, not the user ID, but that the password was the sensitive information. You might want more. I want to show you how you deal with all of this. So I'm going to go back into Visual Studio, and I'm going to show you how you control this and what options that we get. Let me go back and open my project. Now this is done here on a package level. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I am going to just start over from scratch. And I'm going to go to the package. And I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to go to the control flow tab. And I'm going to left click somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And then I want to view, and some of you may already have this open when you get in there, I want to view the properties window, which is F4 on your keyboard. And I want to scroll down, and we want to go to security. Okay. So this is the section that you want right here. You want security, you want the package password protection level sections. So we are going to spend the next three, the next two, this video and two more, on working in this particular section. Okay. Notice this encrypt sensitive with user key. This, let me actually pull it back up here and let's change here. This is the, oops, well, um, put it right here, see if I can get it right there. The default. Hey, and I even got the same uh, font there. Makes it look great. Um, <laughs> encrypt sensitive with user key is the default. However, okay, I'll wake you up here. Let me get you excited. This will get you into more trouble than anything else when it comes to saving files. Okay, because here's what it means. User key means 
ta da, who you're logged in as. Okay, I'm logged in as administrator, so it takes a hash and assault and comes up with all these fun things to encrypt my password because it sees the password is sensitive data. But you also saw that it did not encrypt the user ID that I was using to log in with. Huh. huh. Okay. So this is the default. You know what that means? Do you know what it means? Oh, I bet you don't. Bet you hadn't thought it through. It means, <clears throat> sorry, that if I send this .dtsx file to someone else and they open it, they won't be able to see that password. They won't be able to use that password. They won't be able to execute this package and have it store the password because when it tries to decrypt that password, it will decrypt it using their username. And it will not be correct. So if you plan on sharing this password, or sorry, sharing this package with anyone, you do not want to encrypt sensitive with the user key. You won't be able to open it and have it execute from other machines. You won't be able to execute it while logged in as SQL Server agent, for example, if you're wanting to schedule this later on. So encrypt sensitive with user key is the default. However, it ensures that you, the package designer, are the only one who will be able to execute that package and have it actually use the sensitive data. So uh, I'll show you in a couple of videos how this actually works, but there is a second, there are two other options here that are viable. One, we don't save sensitive information at all. So what this means is that it won't save that password. You will not save the password in the DTSX file. And what that means is every time that you execute this SSIS package, you're going to have to load it up. You're going to have to you're going to have to do two things, one of two things. You're going to have to either when you load it up, enter the password for that connection or B, use a package configuration. Or I guess you could do a variable and hobble it together with expressions, but we haven't learned what package configurations and expressions and variables are. We'll do those a little bit later in the course. But don't save sensitive. Would not have saved the password with the DTSX file. Another option is to encrypt sensitive with password. Let's just take a look at some of these here. So this encrypt sensitive with password would do the exact same thing that encrypt sensitive with user key does except you're going to pass in a password as the salt. So instead of it encrypting by user key, now if I want to share this with somebody I can put in the package password and I say OK. And so now that SA password that was previously done is encrypted using this word, this password as the salt. So now I can send this to someone else. They can load up this SSIS package. Let me save this now. Okay. And we'll close it out. We'll leave out of here. And then the next time you go to open that package, ta-da, there's a package password. Okay. If you put the wrong password in, uh, it's incorrect, okay, it's incorrect, okay, not able to do this, okay. So, okay, notice it also says, without the password, the package can still be opened, but sensitive data is lost. Okay, so that means, you mean I can just say cancel? and I get these corrupted errors but I can still open the package that's exactly what I mean don't have this password as a way to prevent somebody from opening a package altogether that's not what let's pull back up over here that's not what encrypt sensitive with password means what encrypt sensitive with password means is that sensitive information such as passwords is not available unless you passed in the right password for somebody to execute this package who did not know the password, you can see that it turned this red, they would now have to go over here to the connection manager and enter the password. And it would have to be the right password for that particular connection. You see how it was completely blank. 
Now, if we were to, let me close out of this. If we were to open this and actually insert the proper password, okay, it's not red. And when we come in over here now, it act, well it doesn't show it, but it has actually saved that password. We did put this in. We would be able to just hit go and debug this right now. Okay, so encrypt sensitive with password is how you can easily share a DT, uh, <clears throat> SSIS package with somebody without worrying whether they're going to get a corruption error. Now I tell you what we're going to do, let's stop here, let's come back in the next video and let's talk about the other options that we see.